Well, this is the time of year that car deer accidents really spike here in Connecticut. Yeah, it is actually deer mating season, and that means this is the most likely time of year for you to hit a deer with your car. News Ace Tina Detail has more. This is the time of year deer are on the move, but unfortunately, they often cross paths with drivers. This Mercedes still sits along Interstate 395. The front end smashed in. Fur from a deer which did not survive this highway crash, still embedded in the emblem. I see him on the side of the road once in a while, unfortunately killed. And now you see the danger to drivers as well. I think it hit his head over here. Akram Aboutin had a run-in with a deer a couple of years ago. And that guy was on the floor, that deer, and he left his head like this, and it fell down. He still feels bad, but he also stays a lot more alert, especially this time of year. It's mating season, and deer are on the move. Just came out of nowhere, right in front of me. Not all cars have this type of protection on their front bumpers. Now, we did speak to some state police troopers who say they do see a lot of these types of accidents along the highway. State police say most accidents happen after dark, and if you see one deer, there's usually a second and a third. They say pay attention to deer crossing signs because that's where accidents have happened, and do not swerve to avoid a deer. Police say it's better to hit a deer than to hit another car or a stationary object like a utility pole. When I drive at night, you know, I have to keep my four eyes open. The DEEP says since 2000, there have been as many as 3,100 deer accidents a year. But after it expanded deer management efforts, that number dropped drastically to just over 1,100 last year. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.